Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video I will talk about the Gerber Outdoor Shovel Gorge. Uh, that item is packaged in this box. Uh, there we see the lifetime warranty, the gorge name, a folding shovel. On the side is not much information. On top we have some more full lifetime warranty, North America only. Uh, Gerbergear.com is the website. Uh, there we have some more information. The close length is 9.25 inches, overall length 16.5. The head is forged steel, the handle anodized aluminum. And we have a hammer feature at the base, nylon bag that comes with it. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. It has that typical turn lock knob uh, design. And for the handle it has those two uh, buttons that we can compress. So the, the whole thing going to be uh, together. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So once you take the item out, uh, you have the, the shovel is in the middle part and the bottom compartment is that bag. So they give you a bag for easy storage. So the item is protected. It's just a simple bag with a pull string to close it on top. The material doesn't feel really good at all. It makes a cheap impression. Also, the thing frays a bit where it is uh, sawed, quite likely in China. So it needs a bit of tension there with the big light to uh, fray, prevent it from <coughs> fraying. Same, I did already hear that it looked terrible as it come out of the box. <coughs> so the the bag is not that much uh, worth it, but. Uh, at least they provide one. Now to the item itself, it's typical folding shovel. That would be the smallest configuration that you can have with it. Uh, the turn knob is here. We have the hammerhead part here that is made out of pretty thick material. Uh, there is also a number in the middle. I don't think they are serial numbered. Maybe that is the article number. Who knows? Uh, the finish as we see it's rather shiny uh, that I don't like at all they could have used a, a matte finish on it uh, it's easy to repaint of course and that's what I gonna do and we have here the bended part that you can stand on it to give it more leverage that is nicely done too uh, of course the the knob you can put on like this so you can uh, use it a bit like a hatchet uh, for for a uh, start holes with with hand by the hand if you want and also of course you can use it like in this configuration like you usually would then we turn the knob the knob is some kind of aluminum with two washers in front and that's usually the weak point those washers are not thick enough we're gonna see that after a bit use the good thing is it's a screw that they used it's not revetted so we can take that apart and and they replace the the washers with a with a thicker one that has better material that's the, the hammerhead part so as we turn the the part we need to straighten it up then the knob gonna gonna uh, turn like this pretty nice then we have the handle part that is a, a plastic feels pretty good in the hand has a bit uh, dimples from the molding so it needs a bit smoothed out like here too that's just leftovers from the from the molding and that gonna extend like this and there we see those buttons to press we have two of them as you press that back that part that interlocks gonna go down so we can push it back in the short position 
to make it bigger we simply drag it out and that's the whole shovel here too bad that those parts those button parts are in a silver color uh, the the handle is shiny too so that all gonna get painted uh, at least in my variation the problem we have here is also that the corner is a bit on the sharper side so you need to rework the plastic if you want to have it a bit rounder off there so the rest looks pretty good of course this is not a, a shovel that you would use for dig a heck of a lot that is more for smaller smaller uh, things uh, if you really want to dig a, a hole you better get a shovel that is bigger and has a, a solid handle this is just a, a small tool that you can put in the in the trunk or in the, the backpack that has a not too heavy weight and all that uh, one feature I did not say is that the thing the shovel blade is not sharpened at all uh, we see here it's a little bit grinded but there is no sharp edge at all so that's gonna be a hard time to uh, really really uh, cut anything if you want to use it as a hatchet like some other shovels you need to resharpen to sharpen the parts all around if you want to have that there is also nothing that would uh, have a bit serrations that you could saw with it or something like that it's just plain plain shovel with a with a belt grinder or similar tool that would be possible of course to sharpen it if you wanna wanna have that then if it's sharp we have a bit of problem of course with the, with the back that it would possibly cut because the back has a thin material it's not very very sturdy there is no no molly and anything that is just a, a bag that you can put in the shovel in the bag and then in the backpack so the, the whole thing is a bit uh, together maybe even if it got dirty and you you can't clean the shovel up uh, absolute uh, well that you put it in that bag and then you put it in the backpack so the backpack doesn't get dirty yeah so it's a compromise of course we're gonna see how long it lasts especially those those uh, washers I don't think they they gonna last too too long and then we see how well that go I gonna post minimum a bit feedback on the description after a while uh, if it really bad fails or we have any any other update I'm gonna make a second part of this video so that much about the Gerber outdoor shovel the, the gorge model